having a really good sort out of all my huge stash of sewing patterns. They've all been put into individual drawers so I can find them. And this particular drawer says on it, not used. So all of the patterns in here are ones that I bought and loved and still not used, which ain't good, is it? So I've chosen 12 of them to make over the year, hopefully more, but the minimum is the 12 that I'm choosing. And I'm going to have a chat about them and tell you why I've chosen them and try and match them up with some fabrics from my stash as well. So if that's something you're interested in, stick around. <music> Christine the Gemini Stitcher and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome! And if you're a returning viewer, thanks for sticking with me. So today's vlog is all about shopping my pattern stash. I hadn't realised how many patterns I had that I'd bought, loved, they look great and I've never used them. So I picked 12 of them we're going to go through them. I'm going to try and match them with fabrics from my stash. Some of them I haven't got fabrics for, so I'll be asking for your help. And I might pop some online images up of fabric that is drawing me in to make in those particular patterns. So shall we get started? The first pattern. Is now this has been printed off as a PDF, so it's in a boring white envelope. But I will pop an image up or a few images up of it so that you can see what it looks like from stock images. It's the Uno top from Sinclair Patterns. Now I haven't got any fabric in my well, I have got fabrics in my stash, but I haven't got any that I want to actually make this top in. But for spring. I'm digressing already. The other week I was in Marks and Spencers and they had some sports leisure wear. They had some sports leisure wear, just plain colours, jog bottoms and hoodies. But the fabric, it felt really soft, quite lightweight, which is great for spring. So being me, I had to start ferreting around inside the garments to find the, find the label and see what the fabric content was. And lo and behold, it was a viscose French terry. So I, I've been on the hunt for viscose French terries and I've found one supplier that's got some in plain colours that look absolutely gorgeous. The company is called Lulu Designs. It is a UK company and there's an image out of the colours that they've got available in Viscose French Terry. Now I am thinking that I will get the, I want to do two tone, I don't want it all to be plain for the Uno top. Two tone top, plain jog bottoms to go with it in my all-time favourite plateau joggers from Closet Core Patterns. But we're talking about the top. So I'm thinking that I will get the Eucra colour, which is a lovely cream colour. And then I'm undecided between the army green or the grape colour. So it might be that I just get both and get enough of the Eucra colour to do a two-tone set, one in each colour. Let me know what you think. So why did I buy the Uno top from Sinclair Patterns? Now I'm a fairly new person to Sinclair Patterns and why I've not discovered them before is beyond me because their patterns come in different heights, which 
if you've been following me, you'll know I'm five foot on a good day. And Sinclair patterns do for petite sizes as well as the out, you know, the standard size and a tall size. So if you're very tall, good for you as well. So the Uno top comes in quite a good size range. It starts from an extra, extra small all the way up to a 4XL, which is brilliant. And if you equate that to bust sizes in inches, it starts from a 31 and a half inch bust and goes up to just short of a 60 inch bust. So I'm sure you'll agree that that is very size inclusive, not just on height, but on your actual body size as well. So yeah, I'm impressed with Sinclair patterns, to be honest. So that's my plan number one, the Uno top hoodie. Now I'm going to do the one with the wrap over curl neck, not the hoodie, I think. So as I said, from my stash, already got the pattern. It's in my 12 that I'm going to use this year. So which pattern is number two? Now this pattern, I got at the Knitting and Stitch show in Harrogate last November. So that had it a huge amount of time, but it is a stash pattern that I thought I would use really quickly and haven't done. It is the Dandelion Jacket. There you go, it's quite, looks quite a plain jacket. I'll show you the line drawings on the back. So you can have sort of kangaroo pockets on the front, welt pockets, patch pockets, and then there's a bit of detail in the waist at the back. Yeah, actually, I've seen a couple of these made up on Instagram and they look beautiful. So I have got fabric in my stash. Now, some of you might be thinking, you're using that for the pole going it, but we're allowed to change our minds, aren't we? This fabric was originally bought for the Andelion jacket, and I forgot, like you do. And when I was sorting through the patterns, I thought, oh, oh no, I can't use that for the pole going it. It's for the Dandelion. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, it's this beautiful fabric that is a leopard print, gold, silver and black. It's quite a heavy jacquard fabric. I got it from Stitch Fabrics at the Harrogate show. And it's reversible really, because on the back, it's just plain lilac and black. So I can play around with it a little bit as well if I want. So yes, that isn't a pogo on it. Oops, it's definitely going to be a dandelion. So what are Maison Fauve like for sizing? Well, they go from a 80 to 82 centimetre chest up to 120 to 122. Not bad, but not as good as the Sinclair one. But I think the sizing from the patterns that I've used, now the weird thing with Maison Fauve is that they only give you the sizes to make, they don't give you the finished garment sizes. So you just have to go on a bit of a wing and a prayer if I'm honest. But I've made two or three of their patterns now and they have come out true to size. So go off the pattern sizes to your body measurements and they will fit as the image, the stock images, is the best that I can say. But yeah, that is in my 12 makes in my pattern stash. Number three is one I've had, a, had for ages and forgot. You know what it's like? They get buried, don't they? Well, mine do. And this one certainly got buried. And it is from Soul Liberated. And is their Aronite woven and jersey fabrics. Pants. 
There's the image of the Aronite, that white and loose, casual fit, trouser, elasticated waist, nice, easy, leisure wear pants. Don't know why I've not made them. Whatever the reason, I haven't. I forgot I had it. But I found it now, and it's going to get made up this year. So, a bit of rummage through my fabrics. And I thought this. It is a cotton double gauze. Now it's on my make nine fabric list to use this year so it'll be good because it'll mean i'll be using one of those and i was going to make another pair of the closet core crew sepia trousers but i've got two pairs of them so i thought it might be nice to try another pair of different design different fabric uh, different pattern company so yeah i'm thinking i'll make the Aronites in that. So what's the sizing like on the Aronites? They start from a UK 6 to 8 and go all the way up to a UK 32 to 34 sizing. So fairly size inclusive. Now, I don't know how I'm going to get on with them because being five foot nothing, I am going to have to take a fair chunk out of the length, so we'll see how that affects them. Now, you can do these trousers in both woven and jersey fabrics, so maybe I need to have a look for some jersey in my stash and have a go with them in a jersey fabric as well. But you're looking forward to making those ones. What's next out of my pattern stash? Now, the other thing that I'm forcing myself to do this year is to do more big four patterns. I tend, I tend to go towards the indie patterns because they have better instructions and I think that they're just easier for me. But that's being lazy, isn't it? Because big four patterns, oh, hello, Esme, come to say hello. The big four patterns do have some really nice patterns and if you've been dip your toe in the water you got used to sewing a little bit then why not try them i i mean when i first started sewing that's all we had so i've got no excuse i should know how to use them and i do i just like the indie patterns better so it's not waffling the next pattern out of my stash is this simplicity pattern that is a beach throw on, I'm calling it. They've got a nice long length one, a mid length one. We can do a top in it and look at that one with two tone on. They've even put a fringe on the bottom. I don't think I'll be doing that, but yeah, lots of options with it. So I'm going to give that one a go. Now it's sizing is from an X extra extra small up to an extra extra large. So that's quite a wide size range for a big four pattern. And it goes from a UK size four up to a 26. So not as size inclusive as the Sinclair by any stretch, but I think it's quite a loose fitting dress or throw on so fairly size inclusive so what fabric i have got some fabric in my stash let me just find it in this huge pile that's hiding over here it had actually fallen on the floor and it's this now sam if you're watching this is barbie pink <laughs> if you didn't watch me man and sam's fabric haul vlog that we did from the I'll pop the link in the description hilarious I got some Czech fabrics and she said it looked very Barbie this is definitely Barbie then isn't it so I've had this for ages it's a chiffon foily type fabric I got from Joe Roll Rags 
who don't trade anymore. That used to be great. They used to do a um, fabric auction on a Sunday. Very addictive. So in a way, I'm glad they're not there anymore because I was buying too much. And this has never been used. And I want to make a beach straw out of it. Now, I don't think I want to make the really long one. I want one that's just above the knee. And that's the fabric that I'm thinking of using. Next. Now, this is the Nest sweatshirt, again from So Liberated. Had it absolutely ages. There's an image of the Nest sweatshirt, and I forgot that I had this pattern. And Rachel from French Seams made one of these up, I think before Christmas, and did like a Christmas-themed one because it's got the star image on it. And I thought, I recognise that pattern. Yeah, because you've got it in your stash. So this is on my 12 patterns that need making up this year. Now, I've just got a feeling it's going to be the tail end of the year. A bit Christmassy, but we'll see. So I've not got any fabrics in my head that I'm going to use, but it's a great stash buster. So I'm going to get my jersey. I've got a box full of jersey scraps. So I'm going to go through that and hopefully be able to make the nest sweatshirt out of it. So again, because it's a so liberated pattern, the, the sizing is from a UK size 6 to 8 and up to a 32 to 34. So fairly size inclusive, could be better maybe. But that is a great scrap buster. Add it in my stash, must be about two years now, which is unforgivable so that is getting made up this year the next pattern is a few people have been mentioning this and I thought oh, I've got that pattern again why have I never made it don't know it's the bell woven dress from Stylark that's the stock image beautiful pattern I think I've mentioned this in my Mate 9 because this fabric is definitely in my Mate 9 and I want to make the bell woven dress in this. Can't remember where I got it from. It was either Rainbow Fabrics or Wolfhamstow. I think it was Wolfhamstow. It is a beautiful popping green and white floral viscose fabric. And I think it will look fabulous as the bell woven dress. Now, the bell is a style art pattern, and style art are notoriously not very good with their instructions. And it's always niggled me, really. And I've steered away from them. But I recently found some information now as to why. The instructions are so basic. Whether it's true or not, you can tell me, but I've been led to believe that style art patterns are made for the garment industry to use and then they are filtered down into the domestic sewing arena. So you can understand why. The pattern instructions are the way that they are. If they're done for the garment industry, they don't need all that detailing that some of us need. And I do know that the bell woven dress, somebody's done a so long for it. So I'm going to give it a go. And if I struggle, I can look at the sew along. And um, I've just been watching Bex from what Beck sells and she is doing the bell woven dress as well so it'll be interesting to see we we'll both actually get them done on what we think of the pattern won't it so what's the sizing like for the bell the sizing for the bell comes in two size bandings now that must be because it's done on a different style of pattern block base depending on your sizing so you can get the size 4 to 16, which is the one that I've got, 
And then they also do a separate one for the 18 to 30 size range. So quite good. Not bad sizing. So yeah, bell woven dress. Here we come. How are we doing? Looks like I've got a huge pile of fabric, so I must have a huge load of patterns to go through still. Now we're back on to the big four. Now this has been open, so I must have been humming and hawing about making it at some point and then not made it up. It's a buttery pattern. Not made one of these for donkey's years. But I like that romper suit. I think it will look beautiful on my holes. And it'll be great for wearing during the day and looking smart because shorts can look a bit too casual sometimes depending on where you're going and what you're doing but i thought this shorts look smart so you need woven fabric let's see what the sizing is it goes from a size 6 to a size 22 so not great but hey ho now, the interesting detail on this pattern is, we can see, the back there wraps over, comes round, and then forms the tie at the front. So I'm really interested to see how that one works out. And I've got some fabric in my stash that I think will look really good in it now this is a fabric i got from the silk store with sam and we both got the same fabric and i think i want to make the shorts version because they're quite long shorts in that fabric what do you think really look guys i was going to make a dress i made the dress in it but I like, quite like the shorts idea. But I'll have to check how much of this fabric I've got because if I've got three metres of it, I think I only got two. Hey ho. So that's an idea. Rather than doing it as plain like it is on the picture, I think it would look stunning in a patterned fabric. How are we doing? Slowly, slowly. This next one is a jumpsuit and it's the Ava jumpsuit. Now I must have had this for a while. It's a Simply Sewing magazine. It's a Simply Sewing magazine pack and I've not bought that magazine for a long time. But I kept this. Obviously I like the idea. It's like a semi-fitted jumpsuit, so it's plain on the front. And then, let me try and get up close. So it's plain down the front, and then it's ruched in at the back. I don't think it's with elastic or with shearing. I'll have to have a look. But it defines the waist, but isn't cutting into the waist at the front. So I want to make the short sleeve version for the summer with the cropped legs is what I'm thinking and again instead of plain fabric I've got some patterns so I was thinking of making it in this wow look very different than the pattern cover won't it so let me know what you think do you think that jumpsuit, the Ava jumpsuit, will look good in a busy pattern? So what's the sizing like for the Ava jumpsuit? This pattern goes from a UK 10 up to a 20. So not a huge range. Not very size inclusive. But it was free in the Simply Sewing magazine. And I've actually fallen back in love with that. So it's weather. I think it would look nice in a 
cotton chambre. So maybe I need to do that and ditch the patterned fabric idea. But again, not got any in my stash, so I'll have to buy some. Or a lovely linen. Oh, here I go. Well, at least the pattern's going to get used, and that's the main thing. Now, the next one. It's another big four pattern again. Are you not proud of me? It's a simplicity pattern. I must have had this for yonks. And I can't believe I've not made this. Look at that cream one. How gorgeous is that jacket done up in a teddy fabric? It's just a cow roll over neck, big pockets, no fastenings, a great car throw on. And yeah, I don't know why I've never made it. Look at that one with the crossover neck. This is the one that I like. And I quite like that little gilet as well. How cute is that? But that's the one I'm looking at making. And I've got the fabric. I've been humming and hawing what to use this fabric for for a while now. It was going to be a pogo on it, then it was going to be a dummy jacket. But it is definite because it's quite bulky. I didn't think it was suited to a lined jacket. And this is unlined. So I'm going to make that one for definite in this fabric. What do you think? So what's the sizing like? It's not going to be great, I'm, ge I'm guessing, because it's a big four pattern and very rarely are they size inclusive. It goes from a size extra small up to an extra large. And that equates to a bust of 30 and a half up to a bust of 44 to 46. Yeah, so not not hugely size inclusive that. I'll fit in the size range. But big four patterns are always a bit iffy on including a good size range. But yeah, that jacket in that. That is going to be one of my February makes, I think, because it's the time of year to be making it, isn't it? Hello, Esme. Hello, my darling. So, three more patterns to go, and that's my 12. And it's, to be fair, it's probably about half emptied that, that drawer. So that's not bad. Not bad. If I can clear these, I'll feel better. And in fact, I'm setting myself a target. Not buying any more patterns until I've used these 12. What do you reckon? No, I'm going to do it. Oh, I've got two of them now. Hello, hello. Right, come on down. Go on. So the next pattern, not got the fabric form, but love, love, love it. And it's a Mimi G simplicity pattern. Look at those trousers with all the pressed hoods or buttons down the front. You don't have to have those on. You can just leave it with a slit opening at the front or you can just have them as a standard trouser. Now they have got a zip fly and they recommended fabrics. Let me have a look. So the trousers, they recommend that you use ponte or stretch woven with at least 25% stretching. So I need to find a good quality viscose ponte to make these in. Because I'm not keen on poly content ponte. I have a bit of polyester in, but I prefer viscose. So if you know anywhere that's selling really good quality viscose ponte, let me know because I want to make these and I can't find any. So yeah, that one might be the one fail in my 12 and only because I can't find <laughs> Lily, only because I can't find the fabric. Just two more to go, girls. Can you just behave for 10 more minutes, please? So this next one is another Mimi G one and it's got all sorts in the pattern. You get the jeans, you get the t-shirt and you get this jacket and it's the jacket that I want to make. How beautiful is that? It's a long line bomber style jacket and then 
Let's try and get up close with that. Can you see? It's got that little mock belt on the back. I'm not sure what you call it. Now I want to make this. It's been done in a lovely cream, but you know me, I don't do cream. I in my head, I want this done in a patterned fabric. And the fabrics that I've seen are from Minerva. They've brought out a quilted Minerva exclusive fabric range. I'll be popping a few of them up here because I haven't decided. They're all, wow, popping bright colours. And I'm really tempted to make that jacket in some of their quilted fabric and make it a super special garment. So what's the sizing like? Let's have a look because it is a simplicity pattern. So it starts from a bust of 30 and a half and goes up to 44. Hmm. Not very size inclusive yet again, but a bit different that one and I like it. I didn't want a bomber jacket. And that's a bomber jacket, but not a bomber jacket, if you know what I mean. Don't know when that'll get made, because I haven't got the fabric. But, you know, definitely want to get that made this year. Then the last pattern is by Papercut Patterns. There it is. It's the Aura dress. Now, I've already opened this and I've used it to make the skirt. I've made that wrap skirt in it and loved it, but never made the dress for whatever reason. I love the idea of the check. And I love the big belt round the middle. And I want to try and do it as a two-tone dress. So imagine that dress with the skirt all in one and then the top. One half, one, one half the other, and then the belt, one colour one side, and the other colour the other. What do we think? That is what I'm thinking in my head at the moment. And the fabrics I've got that I want to make it in are my Barbie fabrics that I got from Barry's in Birmingham. I'm saying the Barbie fabrics because that's what Sam said they are. So we're having a Barbie or a dress. I think that's going to look stunning for spring. Brighten up th things up a little bit, won't it? So there we go. 12 patterns. I've made a right mess down here now. So I better tidy it all up. I'm going to set myself the challenge of not buying any more patterns until I've used those 12. As well as others that I've already got in my stash. I've already got the patterns, that's fine. Not buying any more new ones until I've used those. How do you think I'm going to get on? I'm just not going to have to look at the new patterns that come out. It was, I'm trying to think it was now, it was so Sarah's style. Sarah has a really good idea that's helped her with her fabric ban and shopping her stash. She unsubscribed on her emails from all the fabric stores, so she's not been getting all the emails from when they're doing fabric drops, which obviously has helped her a lot. Yeah, so I need to try and do the same for patterns. Certainly unsubscribe from the fold line and stop watching the fold line because that is where I fall fall. That's where I fall down. They give you so much inspiration on their vlogs that I think, oh yeah, oh yeah. So maybe stop watching them and unsubscribe. To their newsletters and hopefully I'll get these 12 done and then I can subscribe back to them again. So I hope you found it interesting. 
have you got a huge pattern stash that you've not used and should be doing? Then maybe you, like me, need to get yourself a list of patterns, get them sorted and set yourself a target of, you don't have to do 12, don't know why I did 12 because we're in February already, so I'm behind already, aren't I? But yeah, I'm going to start waffling now. Tidy up and start making my sewing plans. So take care. I hope you found it interesting and happy sewing. See you next time. Bye.